happy holidays. Many people are going home for the holidays and what many of us experience when we do that is we get all lit up. We go back to the family and the old family patterns kick in and even though we've used our tools and we're on this spiritual journey, sometimes we go back home and it's not so comfortable. So No, it gets it gets awkward for a lot of people. So this is an opportunity to really this is an opportunity not only to use your tools and skills but to really reshape a lot of your history in present time. Break old patterns. Break old patterns. So so what happens when you go home, you know, brother, sister, mother, father type of things and they're all basically the same in their life mm -hmm. and you're changing. And the first thing that really happens is instead of just being annoyed or off balance or being insulted or some of those things that happen, this doesn't happen in every family, but right. those things that happen here. In the past, you would just react and pout or you know, be irritated, argue, back. argue the whole pattern. That's the pattern. So in this case, these are old pictures. These are about what happened at four years old, nine years old. You didn't get a present at Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know, mom said, dad said, grandma said. So in this case, that's all baggage. And so here's the opportunity. One, if you can stay in present time. And two, if you begin to recognize your tools. So literally, keep your rose up. Stay on your side of that rose so that as you engage people, you're really talking to them, but you're much more paying attention to how you engage them. Mm -hmm. How am I doing? I'm talking, but here's what I'm noticing. You're also going to find that just by virtue of being in that engagement, these old pictures come up, these memories come up. So you've got a whole set of tools, fourth, fifth, sixth ray, eighth ray, you can begin to look at those. You've got a, a, a rose to put somebody in and make just separations. explode the rose to make separations from that. There's going to be things where people still see you as you were when you were 12 years old and they're talking to you as if you're 12 <laughs> years old. And it's like how insulting, you know, my Uncle Joe, but Uncle Joe doesn't know any different. So these are really big opportunities because family pictures, the pictures of where you came from, to a great extent are built into the unconscious layers of who we, we each are. And we go away from a Christmas or a holiday season and we're fine for the rest of the year because we're not paying any attention to Grandma and Uncle Joe. Mm -hmm. But here, you get a chance to take those rocks out of your backpack. This is really, if you can go into these holidays from the standpoint of it being a, a desirable working situation yes. and you stay conscious of you have an intention and your law of attraction attention is on, I'm going to move through these next three days and I, this is for me. And the, and the intention isn't, I'm going to move through these three days and I'm not going to get mad at anybody. That's not how to phrase it. Yeah, correct. The, fra the way to phrase it is, I'm going to move through these three days and I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to be very amused and entertained. Amused is a big word here. You know, it's, it's like when you watch people act out, rather than going into your irritation with them, just it's like, really? <laughs> You're going to do that again this year? You know, so amusement in this space is, you're not laughing at them. What you're really doing is, in a way, you're kind of laughing at all those years you bought into this mm -hmm. and being nice to yourself at the same time. But the opportunity is to clear this out of your yeah. space. Uh, another tool that I found handy when I had friends and family <laughs> was to uh, have a neutrality cloak. And so going into that situation, I really wanted to be neutral so that I could observe the theater and not be involved in it. So I just kindergarten, I just made up this cloak like in Harry Potter, just a blanket I would put over myself and it would be just for neutrality and I was able to stay in it. Yeah, this word neutrality is really a big word. So when you start to 
structure yourself structure yourself before you go into the yeah. holiday and it's not prepare defend you know oh god i have to do this no this is an opportunity this really is a chance to begin to say all right words like neutral and balanced and amused. observing you know amused build your triangles and stay in tune with those words as you kind of move through this and it's important to prepare before you walk in the door very much it's it's understand what you're doing and why you're doing it rather than after the fact saying oh gee i forgot my rose mm -hmm. decide you're not going to forget your rose you're going to be really conscious of it you know another thing is when you get up in the morning before you walk into engaging decide all right what am i doing today and how are my tools and where are my words mm -hmm. those pieces and really make it an intentional skill set it does a number of things one of the things that happens is you really do clean out a lot of the rocks in your backpack and it's a it's a time that only happens once a year and sometimes it's a time that only happens once every five or six years for people mm -hmm. so take advantage of it as an opportunity the other thing is when you clean out a lot of these patterns these are the same patterns that create your personality in work create your personality in relationship to mm -hmm. and so if you can basically move this energy and these pictures out of your space you really begin to enter into your world in a very different manner going forward yeah the holidays are rich rich in opportunity to work on your own stuff and it's almost like a it's like the the final exam in school it's or it's a pop quiz or it's sure, like okay sure. how am i going to get through how am i going to manage how am i going to get through this Mm -hmm. but it lights up your pictures oh, yeah. I'll go back and say it again and it's I'm annoyed I don't really want to do this I have to <laughs> do this it's family all that is is all the history yeah. coming up and speaking at that moment yeah. of resistance or resentments or irritations those are rocks in your backpack yeah. and you may really be very irritated at the sister fill in the blank for the last 30 years because they did or they didn't they may not even know they no. did or didn't and have no clue why you're such a jerk every time you get around them <laughs> from their point of view right so treat it as an opportunity because it's a really very valuable experience yeah. particularly going forward one of the things about this season is all the baggage is coming up you know all these transitions we've been having and we're stepping into in 2017 18 19 are going to be challenging years so if you can clean some of these annoyances irritations uh, resistances out of your space now you're going to be able to enter into the coming years in a much cleaner place mm -hmm. so we wish you a amused neutral happy holiday exactly <laughs> <laughs>